It's Friday the 11th of May. Here are the headlines. Jobs boost for East Cows as American mega yacht firm plans Island Factory. Inflatable fun on the water as biggest rib show in the world comes to cows. Record sellout for best of all as last minute revelers go to any length for tickets. And flower power through crochet knits cancer charity thousands. Good evening, welcome to the programme. This is Solent Tonight. A prestigious mega yacht manufacturer is set to open a European base in East Cows with the creation of up to 65 jobs. American firm Palmer Johnson makes aluminium yachts for the super rich, with some of their boats retailing in the £10 million price mark. If the investment goes ahead, with a deal likely to be completed by the end of 2007, the firm will build 80 to 100 foot sports yachts for their growing European market and will have a temporary base at Venture Keys at the iconic Columbine Yard. Designers and engineers from the US have already made the move to East Cows and a recruitment drive will follow shortly for skilled aluminium welders and those in the fit-out trade. Based in Wisconsin, the firm began building wooden boats over 80 years ago and is now competing with some of the best companies in the world producing mega yachts for the rich and famous. Earlier, I spoke to John Rutherford from the Cedar Development Agency who've been involved in the deal since last year. I think it's really excellent news for the Isle of Wight. This is uh, one of the most prestigious mega yacht builders in the world and it fits very nicely with the kind of economic strategy that is being developed for, uh, for the island. Uh, if we can get one of these most prestigious companies onto the island, then uh, hopefully others will follow. It's, it's a perfect fit. I mean, Cowes is so well known as a, as a prestigious lo location in the yachting world and uh, you know, the, the image is so important for companies of this type. And I think it fits really well that uh, you know, you've, got, you've got to get customers coming to have a look at these yachts uh, and it will, it will just build up the whole profile of, of Cowes and, and the Isle of Wight. I mean, we don't just look at... Uh, at a company in its isolation, we look at the whole supply chain uh, as well, the whole uh, the whole uh, sales channel, and and it, and hopefully this will be a real boost for for local companies. For example, in the com composites industry, uh, we've got the design uh, center of uh, of Palmer Johnson uh, on the Isle of Wight as well, and uh, and I, I just think it's a really positive story. A spokesman from Palmer Johnson said Cows Harbour is considered a prestigious location in the yachting world. In our area of luxury mega yachts, image and quality are major selling points. The Isle of Wight also gives us excellent connections to our growing European customer base. Now, staying on the water but with boats of a different kind, it's time to get fast and furious as the world's largest rib boat show sped into action in Cows today. It's the ninth time the event has been held here since moving over from Southampton. This year's star of the show is a Dutch lifeboat believed to be the most advanced in the world. So tonight's Michael Coombs has been out on it. 15,000 horsepower. Speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. And the largest rib lifeboat in the world. It's the world's biggest rib -X show and it's here in Cowes. This year's event is the biggest yet, 70 ribs from 4 to 18 metres. Fans from America, South Africa, Scandinavia and even Australia. It's a county show on water. Ribs have become the 4x4 four four of the sea. Uh, they're extraordinary craft, very safe, very seaworthy and they're the, 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 the biggest um, success story in the whole of the powerboat um, sector and probably the whole of the marine sector, full stop. Why cows? Well, cows is famous the world over, isn't it, for, for boating, and we're really delighted to be here. And just have a look at this beast, the world's most technologically advanced ribbed lifeboat. At 62 feet, weighing in at 28 tonnes, and with 2,000 horsepower, the Dutch rib is legendary all around the world. Today is the first time the public had special access on board. Uh, the speed is about uh, 33 uh, knots, uh, the maximum speed is uh, 36 and uh, well, she has uh, an endurance of 16 hours full uh, speed. Uh, that means you can uh, be uh, something like uh, 200 miles out and then come back again safely. Back on land and a little closer to home, local boat builder Mike Brackenbury says it's great to have the event on the island. Well, I couldn't believe my luck when uh, they decided to transfer the Ribex show from the mainland to the island. Suddenly, Ribex appears on our doorstep, so, you know, it was fantastic for us. Ribex 2007 is here until Sunday. It's expected more than 8,000 people will visit the show. Michael Coombs for Solent Tonight in Cows. 
Now, three young people from the Isle of Wight have sailed into Valencia on board the 54-foot catch Gypsy Moth 4 as the historic boat nears the end of its round-the-world journey. Kate Scholes, David Williams and Mark Reed sailed into the Spanish port in time for the 32nd America's Cup, providing a fantastic platform for viewing the high-level racing. Gypsy Moth 4 is currently on its second circumnavigation of the globe following Sir Francis Chichester's uh, record-breaking solo voyage back in 1966 and 67. This time the boat, owned by Cal Sailing Academy UKSA, is providing sailing opportunities for young people from all over the country. The the historic yacht is expected to reach UK shores later this month when uh, the sailing uh, finishes in Plymouth on the 28th uh, and comes home to Cowes on June the 3rd. Right, uh, off the water and onto the land and uh, the people with the job of preparing healthy school meals for Isle of Wight children are being rewarded for their efforts in the kitchen. More than 60 school catering staff like these at Trinity Middle School in Carysbrook are receiving national awards for achieving new skills through a recognised qualification. A range of employees from catering supervisors to kitchen assistants are having a night as guests attending an awards ceremony and dinner at Cow's Yacht Haven this evening. The last Best of All tickets for 2007 were snapped up this morning. Some were so desperate, they sent motorcycle couriers from the mainland to secure the last tickets. It's the first time the music festival has sold out months in advance. Last year, tickets were still available up until a week beforehand. Organisers say they're thrilled and slightly bewildered by the huge demand this year, but are promising a Best Ever Best of All. Speaking to Solent TV, promoter Rob DeBank said he was thrilled by the news. I'm quite flabbergasted that we've um, we've sold out with four four entire months ago. I'm sort of uh, very very happy. I mean, it's brilliant that so many people want to come to the festival. Um, also, slightly sort of sad that that excitement of struggling to sell the tickets is gone, and um, and also that there'll be people that can't get um, tickets. We've had people this morning phoning up um, Robin Hill. Who, who I think had about 20 tickets um, left yesterday, and people actually sending bikes, career bikes from Cambridge down to pick them up. Such was their desperation. So, uh, yeah, it's funny old, funny old times. And it's a totally selfish project. You know, it's me and my wife and our partners, John and Ziggy, um, just kind of dreaming up whatever we fancy down there and kind of putting it in. You know, that goes from the from the act they're playing. It's just me going right. Who do I who do I like? It's it's all quite selfish, but it seems to sort of connect with a lot of people so that's good just incredibly grateful that the numbers of people actually coming from the Isle of Wight and the south coast has shot up about um, about three times to almost a third of the um, audience now which is fantastic you know that's half the point of putting it on down there is to provide something for for the local people and last year I was a bit disappointed with the um, with the turnout from the island but this year it's, it's really shot up so I'm, I'm really pleased with that Women on the Isle of Wight are being urged to take the challenge of raising money for Cancer Research UK by registering to take part in this year's Race for Life. Almost a thousand women have already signed up for the five kilometre event, but organisers say they still have 500 places to fill for the Newport race. Across the UK, 800,000 women take part in 280 races, raising £60 million for scientific research into cancer treatments. Many race in memory of loved ones lost through the disease, whilst others run whilst undergoing treatment or some who've beaten it. The Isle of Wight race takes place on Sunday the 20th of May at Seaclose Park. Organisers say the target for this year is to raise £103,000. And for more information you can visit their website. It's raceforlife.org. A man arrested on suspicion of assault at a hotel swimming pool in Cowes has been released without charge by police. Officers were called to the Rawlings Hotel in Sunhill during the early hours of Monday morning. A woman was taken to hospital and a 47-year-old man from Basingstoke was arrested. But police now say they will be taking no further action. We're taking a short break now, but still to come later in the programme, we have all the sports news looking ahead to the weekend. And it seems one place has gone daisy crazy. Find out more a little later.